morning. We're off to see Uncle Spunky today. Give me the dust of my father. Stand on the face of the ancient. Uncle Spunky is quite exciting. Um, he laughs a bit weird, he looks a bit weird, he sounds very weird, but Uncle Spunky is a genius, uh, and he's the cleverest man in all, and whilst I'm in all, I'm going to tap up some other people in all, that are also the best people in all, so you may see some, uh, some familiar faces from that all in this video. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to drive to that hole to get my Victron power inverter fitted. Uh, and also, Uncle Spunky is uh, sorting me out the NBC um, control unit thing. I don't know what it's called exactly. I'm sure that he'll tell you in a bit where I can control and monitor everything from me to iPad, which is interesting. Anyway, let's get ready and go to to all. Here's where I woke up this morning, in a park. I'm going to put a kettle on before I go to Tuttle. I realised that I've not had a coffee, so I need to go do that. Here, come on! <whistles> and there is Princess Unicorn Fairy Bear. Hello! Hello there! Hello, say hello to everyone! So, Princess Unicorn Fairy Bear has not been with me for the last... Uh, well, two months almost now, actually. Uh, since before Phoenix was born, I sent her off to a babysitter. And then my van broke, so I needed to get a new van. So then she not ended up having her for around two months. Uh, obviously, I've seen her, like, probably twice a week at least. Uh, and stayed with her a bit. Um, but as far as staying over, she's not stayed over in the van. Uh, ooh, I'm so tired. Got to get up early to go see Uncle Spunk because he's an early bird. Um, but Princess Unicorn Fairy Bear is back, full time in the van. Bought a new bed, bought a new bowl because I'm a top pet owner. some screws and we shall get this beautiful thing in. Whoosh. Look at it together. Swing on that. I'm a well, luckily, I need something to swing on while I'm in bed. <laughs> so that will be the thing. I can use it as my anchor for me whips and chains. Yes, so let's just make sure we ain't gone all the way through that. No, there's a big skin. Oh my god! Uh, Shift all my junk out at work. Yeah. Do you want to do wall and thingy batteries charging up? Uh, I think the charge actually. Oh, yeah, I think the charge, I think. Right, okay. I'll shift that out as well. Go garage with them. Yeah, yeah. We'll run up. Spunky, yeah. have you got a hot glue gun? No. Oh, actually, I might have, yes. Yeah. That might be an idea. So, moment of truth then. Hopefully, I'm going to plug that in. Oh, 
We've got a TV. <laughs> Was that a silent panic then? Can you just pass us that remote? Give me a little remote holder. That's nice, that. Turn the camera around. Eesh. Doing all this with one hand so I don't drop my bacon sandwich. Eee, bye, gum. Oh dear. Are we working now? There we go, we're working now. There's not going to be enough internet signal though because we're in fucking all and they work off 3G. Might not be enough to work Netflix. All's not caught up with Rustic World yet. But the power inverter is working. That's the main thing. So the inverter is in, uh, connected up, cabled loosely for the time being, and then banged into that bad boy, which is a thing. And then, here we go, that's the rest of the setup, as you've already seen. Um, and then the TV is the only thing plugged into it. Probably the only thing that that's ever gonna power is the TV, uh, and maybe to charge my drill. Uh, that's about it. That's beautiful looking thing though isn't it right, so i'm about to install a switch into the headboard near this usb thing which turns the power inverter on and off i think you can do it remotely but i'm going to put a physical switch in here just to make it easier i had a physical switch in my old van uh so i want one in my new van and we've chose a blue led to match this fucking super bright thing here that is right next to your head while you're asleep Probably could have thought about that a bit better before I did it. Now I've got sword still over my bedding. Fuck my life. So we're currently about to run a network cable, the full length of the van. Uh, goes into e gum Into this. So we can monitor what is going on or something. Some of the things that I want to show you is. Uh, where I can find it. Everything's a bit of a mess at the minute. I've lost it. I have this thing. Where's the thing I want to show you? Here we are. So this is going to be the monitor, which is a full built-in uh, thing. Uh, and that's going to be the NBC control unit. That is the NBC control unit, um, which is going to be able to control everything and log on to everything turn things on and off, monitor levels, and all that jazz. So, it's getting pretty high-tech in here. Do you want to say hello then? I can't really see you, you might have to come closer, it's a bit bright. Oh, do! Oh, look, there's a very poshest man in all. Poshest man in all. <laughs> poshest man in all. In all. Are you alright? Yeah. Everybody's missing you. Yeah, I bet they are. What's you now? Right, we are now up to fitting the NBC screen and connecting up. They've got that one there. These are all your uh, custom connection cables so they talk to each other. Uh, we have your inverter fitted now and running. And that's also connected to the MVC. Your MPPT at the top, that's now connected to the MVC, or where it will be shortly. And so is your BMV battery monitor, so it'll all come up on that one screen now. In there. I can quite see that on camera. Oh, there you go. Bit of a glare. Bit of tech, that, innit? Bit of tech. Action. So, what have I done today, Liam? You've been really busy, haven't you? Yeah. Yes. I Breaking ran the cable. lights. <laughs> broke my lights, yeah. I broke my lights today. But luckily, Uncle Spunky is a dab hand with a soldering iron. <laughs> luckily. 
Look we got, we'll fix it. So today we have fitted your inverter. Nice little Victron unit. And we've ran the uh, VE direct cables from the inverter, from the MPPT at the top, and also the cable you ran to your uh, BMV. Yeah. They all feed up here, ready for this to be mounted. Which is your magical MBC, which will show you all the information. And the cables are all there. Ready to go. Ready for it to be mounted. There. I'll go somewhere yeah, like that, gap. I think, isn't it? Is it? Yep. Yeah. And then that is... Should we get that working now, actually? Yeah, we can do. There's a ribbon coming out the back, but... You know, this was sort of a bit of an ad hoc one, as we went, so... That's why it's all the cables there. I've just got a feeling that I've not... Huh? Oh no, here! Come here, princess! Come here! Come here. Yes, she is, good girl! To the haters that think that I just let everybody else work on my van and don't do anything myself, I've just plugged in a power cable and four USBs myself. Oh, you just connected an MBC. <laughs> That's impressive, mate. Isn't that impressive? It is awkward to catch it, isn't it? Do you want to talk us through it then, if we can see it? Yeah, just, uh, I think, it's, is it still loading bits up? Ah, right, oh, right okay. The majority's there, so you've got your PV charger, obviously it's now dark. Yep. Welcome to Dark Hull, so you're getting nothing on that. DC system from the battery, so you normally what to use him. Then you get your battery uh, percentage, 97%, you're discharging, and you're using 3.3 .3 amps at the moment. You'd go in no miles an hour, according to GPS. So we'll have to see. Uh, and then you can scroll through and you can see what's going on here. So you can see your lines going that way, which is showing you using power from your battery to feed everything. And again, nothing from your PV charger. And again, you just get different screens depending on what you prefer. And that's the in-depth screen. Nice. And go back to there. And then if we're going to pay uh, menu, is your inverter switched off? It should be switched on, shouldn't it? Oosh! On. According to, according to the switch, it's on. I ain't got a clue how it bloody works. Oh, this well. I'll watch my YouTube Dip -dip -dip. videos. And there we go, sir. In the menu page. Let's just do this properly oh, for you. I can't see any of it on camera. Can't, is it not coming up? Yeah, there you go. Just there you go. Right, so in your pages, so you tap. And then you get your options at the bottom. Menu. And that now shows your inverter there, so you can go into your inverter. You can turn it off, on, or put it in eco mode. Also, it's state now, so it's telling you it's on and it's inverting. It's out to 30, but you're not actually running anything off it, so yeah. it's not using any power. And that's your battery power at the inverter. So that you can judge your uh, voltage losses over length of cable and stuff. To work out what's going on. Do we? Is it? Is it worth demonstrating the tracking bit, or is that a secret? We can we can demonstrate that. Although you'd have you have to want to film that. Ah oh, right, okay. It's not can we on can there. we explain it then at least? Yeah, uh, basically the, it's got GPS and that uses geofencing and Google Maps, so you can draw a box around your van and if it ever leaves that box, it will send you an email. Um, or if you think, oh, where was that place I went? I could do with knowing that. You log into your VRM. You download your map data stuff and put it onto Google Maps and it'll show you all the places you've been. So all in all, pretty high tech stuff, isn't it? It's getting there now. It's getting there. We've got a few more things that we're going to add to that potentially, like we water have, levels got, and things. Um, we've got all your tank levels, but you've also got the switching pad med, so you can switch up to eight things on and off. Wow. And there's your mate, other relays there. That's your smart solar, so you can go into this one and you can see all your history from it. Crazy. 
daily history, overall history, networked operation, the device. Same with your BMV. You see what's going on there, look, battery voltage, what you're using, amps and watts, state of charge. It's all there, you can just you can spend hours going through it all. So uh if somebody wanted this system in their van or boat or shed or yes where would they get it from um mbcshop.co.uk there you go there you go and you can have that you could even have the liam the terrible logo you could have the liam terrible logo although i would come and sue your ass <laughs> <laughs> that's copyright it is copyright anyway there you go there's my power inverter fitted um I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Felicia.